Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to my brand new tutorial video on RPG Maker MZ. Today we're going over the engine. We're going to be talking about what RPG Maker MZ is, why you should be using it, the pros and cons to using it. But before I move on, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the notification icon to be notified every time I release a new video, as well as like the video and comment if you have any questions, guys. Let's get started. RPG Maker. It's pretty much an engine that lets anyone, regardless of skill level, make a game. Um, it doesn't have to be an RPG game. You could pretty much make any game you want. The limitations are your imagination. But the engine comes with uh, a whole bunch of tools and assets to get you up and running quick. Tools such as the map editor, so you could create your maps right on the um, on the engine. Character generator lets you generate characters. So it pretty much comes with a whole bunch of stuff that you're gonna need to be able to make your game. Um, it's specialized for RPGs, but you don't have to use it for an RPG game. You could use it for a platformer. I've seen people do that. You could use it for puzzle games and stuff like that. But uh, this is pretty much RPG makers, man. And it also gives you plugins so you could add new extra features. And again, we'll be going over all of this down in the later tutorials. But for, yeah, pretty much an engine that's lightweight, fast and easy to get started with. Anyone could pretty much make a game using this engine. When you start your RPG Maker MZ project, this is what you're going to see. So we're just gonna do a brief overview of everything and then we're gonna give each section their own video. So when you open up the project, the first thing you will see is this big map editor, right? So this is where your maps will be drawn. This is also where you will set up your events um, as well as some other stuff. Um, we're gonna get into all of those, but that's what you do here. To the left of that is your tile sets, right? So your tile sets pretty much are what you use to draw on your map, right? Below that, you will see a whole bunch of tabs. Those are the tabs for your different tile sets, right? And then below that are your, um, it's pretty much your map tree, right? So your map tree is where you store your individual maps and you can switch between all those maps, right? All the way up here are your quick assets, um, just like any Windows and Window. Um, you get some shortcuts for the stuff that live in these menu, right? And these are your file stuff, these are your edit stuff, your mode, undo, your edit. These are your map modes, your layers, your draw tools, the scale, um, the game, and all the other little stuff that you can get um, that's pretty much down here right so going into file this is where you control your project i said make a new project open up the project close the project um save and upload to steam and, and upload to steam and all the good stuff like that right this is also where you export your game if you want after you're done you hit development and you can export your game edit regular edit window stuff copy paste and stuff so the mode is how you switch between making a map or editing your events now you will notice that once you switch it to event mode the tile sets will change into a list of all the events that's on the current map right so draw again like i said it's your draw tools that you use to draw on the map like the rectangle the sphere the fill and then your shadow tool right layer pretty much sets what layer you're going to be drawing on you could have it set to automatic and the system will handle it all for you or you could switch between different layers to draw on a specific layer scale is your zoom in zoom out nothing special oh let's switch this back then let's what do we have tools is pretty much where you're going to be working um in most of the time you're going to be using these so tools include your database and your database is pretty much a collection of all the items characters and all the data for your game right so you will come here you will set up all this data and then as you're playing the game these are the stuff that the players will be interacting with plugin manager this is where you will come and load in your plugins um turn them on and off or edit their plugin parameters to suit your game better sound test is where you see all the sound in the game and you can hear what they sound like resource manager is how you import stuff and if you have a dlc folder um, you could import all your DLC files 
using this so you could imp literally import all the different um, files that you need for your game using this i skipped that for a reason character creator this is where you come in and create a character um you can randomize it so it pretty much uses um some custom made pieces to generate characters um you could add more art to it to generate more parts and stuff like that options options for the engine kind of so if you change this the color here will change and then you can show a grid if you want to change the um ui in, right but let's change that back to let's just cool so game is where you come in to play test your game you could skip the title screen as you play test you could open up your game folder um, and you could update your core script from here um, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff all right guys that's pretty much it for this video and help is where you do your help stuff you go to the tutorial um, and it will walk you through making the tutorial and stuff like that and you could also open up the manual you know people love manuals manuals so if you guys are confused about anything that i'm talking about go straight to the manual and that will pretty much walk you through everything we're going to be talking about. We might be referring to this manual, we might not, but this is actually a pretty cool manual. Hey, if you guys want to use it. But thank you guys again for tuning in. The next tutorial we're going to be making will be maps. How to make them, what they are, and all the stuff that goes into maps. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Make sure to hit that subscribe.